Whenever there's a new Destiny 2 expansion, you can count on there being a whole lot of new exotic weapons for you to find. If you're like me, you like a big old fashioned light machine gun, which means you're probably going to want the new exotic LMG, Deterministic Chaos, a void powered machine gun that fires weakening and volatile rounds that can wipe out most enemies standing in your way. So to help you get this gun what shoot a lot of bullets, I'm Jamie Latour, and this is how to get the Deterministic Chaos light machine gun in Destiny 2 Lightfall. Alright, first things first, before you can even think of getting this gun, you need to complete the entirety of the Lightfall story campaign. It doesn't matter if you do it on normal or legendary difficulty, you just gotta get to the end of it. Afterwards, report to Nimbus on Neomuna and you'll get the quest unfinished business. The first step of this quest will have you go to a ceremony where Rohan will get inducted into the Hall of Heroes, which gives him a nice little gravestone with jelly beans embedded into it or something. Nimbus will leave the ceremony early and be all mopey, so next you need to talk to them again, listen to them prattle on for a bit, and then you'll get the next stage of this quest where you need to gather things called Cypher Cubits and extract Neomunian resources. The game doesn't really tell you what the hell a Cypher Cupid actually is, just that you can get them from the Vex. Basically, all you need to do for this step is just kill 40 Vex on Neomuna and then pick up the items that they'll drop, which like most items, look like gambit motes. Once you've collected 40 cubits, go into your ghost mods and then equip a resource detector mod. This will help you find these weird little metal plants that are all over Neomuna called cloud accretions. Interact with these things and you'll get data packets. Once you've collected five data packets, the next step of this quest will activate, which will take you to Maya's retreat an isolated area located in the southeast part of Neomuna. Follow the quest markers to reach this spot. When you get here, you'll need to interact with this big pylon of energy called a Vex Conflux to gather the last data packet. Touch the weird Vex energy and Vex will predictably spawn in. Kill every single one of these robots and then interact with the Conflux again to get the final data packet. Now you need to rendezvous with Nimbus and Osiris at Radio Sunday. Follow some more quest markers inside of a building which you should be familiar with from a few of the missions during the story campaign. Fight your way through the building and you'll eventually reach Osiris, who will be arguing with a very whiny Nimbus. After their conversation, the next thing you'll need to do is retrieve a Vex compass from the Lost Sector in Leeming Harbor. Once again, follow the quest markers to the area that this Lost Sector is located in. Now, I was originally stumped on where to find this Lost Sector, and that's because the entrance is behind a grate that you need to destroy. So break that and head inside to run through the Thrilladrome Lost Sector, which looks like an arcade. Isn't that cute? Kill all the Vex, and then you'll make it to this weird cyber world where you'll have to kill a boss and then open the chest at the end to get a Vex compass. This will trigger the next step of this quest where you'll have to create chaos in Ahimsa Park. What this means is that you need to kill roughly 100 Cabal enemies in the Ahimsa Park region of Neomuna. Using your abilities to kill them will earn you extra progress. So murder a bunch of Cabal, and afterwards you'll be instructed to find a Seed of Silver Wings, which is located within the Typhon Imperator, which is a location over in the northeastern part of Neomuna. So let's Follow the quest markers again, and you'll get to this fancy looking place. Despite it looking like you can make that jump to get over there, you can't for some reason. Instead, you need to go over here to get inside of the treasure trove. Keep following your quest markers to travel back to another familiar location from the campaign. After you kill all of the Shadow Cabal forces here, take a look at these fancy shelves on both sides of the room. One of these will have your Seed of Silver Wing. Once you have that in hand, go back to Nimbus and talk to them to get Rohan's pass key. That item will let you begin the What Remains mission, which you can find by heading back to the path that takes you to Maya's retreat. Along the way, you'll see a banner that once you interact with it, will start this mission. 
Now, what remains takes you back to the Garden of Salvation. And the first part has you kill just a whole lot of Vex, so just exterminate them. Then you need to get rid of a giant shield, and you'll do that by shooting these Vex things. After that's done, you need to head along this way by dropping down and sticking close to the cliffside wall. Navigating around this level is honestly a little weird, and you'll probably die a few times trying to jump to areas and figure out what is a reachable platform. But just keep following the markers, and you should eventually find the path through the level. As you head further into this mission, you'll encounter more Vex and more Vex shields blocking your way. Vex enemies who are shiny and white like this one will drop a laser called an Arc Cranium that you can use to get rid of these shields by firing it at the floating squares. Keep killing Vex and taking down shields, and later on in the level, you'll switch from fighting Vex to fighting Taken. You'll be in this floating area where you need to take out three Taken Blights, which are the shadowy orbs inside of the shadowy domes. If you've been doing the Defiant Battlegrounds activity, then you know what these things are all about. After they're gone, keep on following the markers, and you'll eventually reach a big field of flowers. Here you'll find Nimbus and- Oh! The gun! The gun! There's the gun! Of course, you have to listen to Nimbus whine about being sad about Rohan for a bit before we get the gun, but after they shut up, deterministic chaos will be added to your inventory. Even though we have our new fancy machine gun, there's still a bit more to do in this mission. Equip deterministic chaos and continue on to kill a bunch more enemies. Along the way, you'll find these little circles that will refill your heavy ammo, so feel free to just fire this gun wildly. There will be one last boss called the Conceptual Mind that you'll need to defeat, and after it's destroyed, this mission will be over. And there we go. We now have Deterministic Chaos, a great void LMG with the heavy metal and vexadecimal perks, which, when you hold down the trigger, makes every fourth bullet become a heavy metal projectile that weakens enemies, and makes every fourth heavy metal projectile make an enemy become volatile. Oh, and uh, I guess there's still a bit more to do with the unfinished business quest, where you'll have to go talk to Nimbus, and then go to the Hall of Heroes for one more cutscene. But who cares? about all that story crap. Look at how my guns shoot! For more gaming news and guides, check out thegamer.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.